This video should answer some questions about burning coils. I feel like you either have cheap juice or you're hitting it too often. So I think hitting it too often is the biggest violation, if you will, where you see there's still bubbles coming out slowly and I haven't really hit this thing in over a minute. But if I were to take a nice drag, You'll notice that the bubble frequency is way quicker. So now we got a bubble coming out every second or two. If you give it like 15 to 20 seconds, those bubbles will start to get much less frequent. And you gotta think of the bubble frequency as how dry the cotton is. So if you take another hit while it's still bubbling, there might be some dry spots that'll burn if you take another hit. So. If you want your coils to last a long time and you're not sure why you're burning them out, this is the Alien Smoke 220 with a baby V8 oct coil in it. I run mine at the correct 0.15 ohms and I do 66 watts. Right on the coil it says it's 50 to 110 but it's best from 60 to 80 and I find that 5 watts over the recommended produces good flavor and then also doesn't use so much juice per hit that you're hitting it dry all the time. So I'll take, it's still bubbling, so I'd probably only hit it once, even though it's been probably 30 seconds. So every time you hit that, it's sucking all the juice or burnt vaping all the juice from the spring and that part of the cotton's dry. It takes it a little while for it to soak back around the cotton. So if you want, you could just go by your bubbles and when the bubbles slow down exponentially, you know you're ready to take another drag. And the time the bubbles take might vary depending on how thick your juice is. So you can get thinner juice by using a 50-50 mix instead of a 70-30 or you can wait longer between hits or get a coil that wicks faster.